I'm sweating. I'm like, I don't know why I'm nervous. Hey guys, I'm Nicole. And I'm Larry. And we're here with Mobile East Magazine. And we thought it would be really fun to actually interview each other. So I'm gonna ask Larry some personal questions about me. We'll see how good he knows me. And then I'll ask him some personal questions about himself. Are you ready? Uh, cool. Okay. So, first question. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hmm. Yeah, these are heavy questions. I thought they would be light questions. But, in 10 years, it shouldn't be so hard. Right? I see myself blissed out. You're what? Blissed out. Blissed out. Blissed out. Okay, that's a new word. Blissed out. I know what bliss I know what bliss means. means. Bliss means just like an all over. You explain. So I happy, peaceful, happy, joyful. And ten years from now, hopefully by that time, I figure it out how to fully live this life and be happy. Just be happy. Okay. You know how you know? I'm happy now. I told with you to be careful with these questions. Up and downs, though. <laughs> okay. 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 Number one, I think you started out with a good one. And so where, so where do you see yourself 10 years from now? 10 years from now, I see myself being obviously a even stronger, smarter, wiser businesswoman. I envision us having <clears throat> about three kids. Okay. Um, living in maybe Florida. Um, by the water okay. and um, my company Neil Lynn just being one of the most amazing biggest most successful companies and um, being on the cover of Forbes I like it. at what point in your life and where was it where you just had something so unreal happen to you and it's probably like you know the biggest wow of your whole life so far and the one that sticks out in my mind is the day that I got the phone call to be drafted into the NFL. Mm. Because that was a lifelong dream that I had. Yeah. And it all kind of culminated into receiving one phone call. And um, so the day you got was, drafted. Yeah, it was good. So question two. Okay. So we just went on a trip with Molly's Magazine, which we had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. What was the best thing about that trip, the best moment? Oh my God, it's so tough because I had so many amazing moments, but different moments, right? Like one of my best moments was when we- One. I would say, because I am, I I hardly ever really face my fears when it comes to things I'm super, super fearful of. I just usually just X them out of my life and just don't approach them at all. Um, and so I think one of my best experiences or where I just feel like it was like a really amazing experience was when I actually walked off that ladder into the ocean full of stingrays. I felt so like recharged when I got out because I walked in that water thinking, holy shit, like I'm gonna die. And then when I walked, when I got out of the water, I felt so enlightened and like, I really just overcome a big, huge fear of mine. But I had so much fun while I was in the water. Yeah, I was terrified when they were like bumping into my legs and swimming around me and I was literally petrified, but I had so much energy like filling my body. I was literally like so excited and so happy I could explode. What is your most favorite trait about me? Just one. Your genuine loyalty. Hmm. So uh, you said just one and I kind of put two in the one. Okay. Which I feel you're a completely genuine person and a loyal person. Okay. Three. Since we're in the Christmas season, okay. what is your favorite activity to do, to do during Christmas season? Oh, favorite activity is watching Christmas movies. That is my absolute favorite thing. Light the fireplace, put on Home Alone. Literally, I get right into the Christmas spirit. You know that. And nothing makes me happier than waking up and watching Christmas movies over the holidays. Okay. <coughs> Next question. Do you know my sign? I'm bad with signs, but yeah, it's Scorpio. Tattooed. Okay, it's tattooed on me. Where is my Scorpio tattoo? She has a <laughs> <laughs> She 
has a Scorpio tramp stamp. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most annoying characteristic about me? Your OCD Gosh. drives me mental. He literally washes his hands wash like hands a thousand a times a day. I don't know. It's just way the weirdest thing. He hates dirt. He's he a hates... pandemic. Yeah. What's the best characteristic about me? Oh, the best characteristic? I love how nurturing you are. He is literally the best. Like when I'm sick, when I have a headache, if I get a little sliver in my finger, if I stub my toe, he's literally like, oh no, baby, what do you need? Do you need this, you need that? Let me do it for you, oh my God. So it's like, I guess that could be bad too because I take advantage. Like if I stub my toe, I'm like, oh babe, and he comes running. So I, I think I overreact. And I've probably crawl, cried wolf a few times now because of you. Because you're so nurturing, I take advantage of it. So now like, I feel like I'm not- At least now we know. Yeah. What date did we get married? May 19th. What year? 2017. That was two questions. Oh. What is your favorite holiday? Mm. Halloween. No brainer. Okay. My birthday too. You know that. You knew that. Yeah. But nobody else did probably. I love Halloween. I love, love, love anything scary, dressing up, any horror movies. I'm a horror movie freak. I'm a Halloween baby. So Halloween is definitely my favorite. What is my favorite food? Pizza. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you can go anywhere on the planet, but it has to be on planet Earth. No right. Planet. Where, where would you go? I would go to Egypt. Awesome. Yeah. I really want to see the pyramids. I, I find it super interesting, like the history behind those pyramids, how they got there, and the writing on the walls, and some of like the really ancient ones. So I think I would like to go there. Okay. Mm -hmm. If there would be one thing that you want to change or improve about yourself. Okay. Um, worrying less about things that I cannot change. Like, I can't predict the future, so I need to stop worrying about it. And I can't change things that have already happened, so I need to stop worrying about that too. So live in the present and less worrying. Mm. Okay, be more present. Be more present, yeah. Cool. But what is your favorite pastime? like thing to do like, like outside of work because i'm like if i no, had if to it could be work then say work honestly i would like to and it's not something that um, i have been doing recently because i have been swamped with work but i would like <clears> to be able to fit in more days that i can spend with animals i know like the one thing that makes me super super happy <clears> where i don't think about any stress or anything is when i'm around animals so i feel like if I could <clears throat> volunteer or like, you know, go to shelters and just like take the dogs for a walk, play with them. And as much as I love work, I feel like it's important to also do things, you know, um, that truly make you a happier person. And I'm my most happiest when I'm around animals. And you, babe, yes, of course. Babe. What is the thing that you do in your work, right? Yeah. That you find the most value and satisfaction in doing? I feel like when I like in what I what I get from that like the instant picture that flashes in my mind <clears> when you say that mm -hmm. is um, um, how I touch other people or how I mm -hmm. uh, how I'm whatever I'm doing how other people um, like my followers like I mean I have two million followers on Instagram who in a lot of ways a lot of those young girls look up to me. Um, whether that is about relationship advice or styling or beauty products or, and I just find it really cool that I'm able to share um, all of the things that I feel like I am an expert on. I'm not an expert, but the things that I know, um, I like to be able to share that with um, What she's basically saying is I do this. Well, <laughs> I like to be able to share that with my I followers. I do this. Babe, shut up. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do do that. <laughs> no, but like, I, I feel like, and like, I, and it all comes in a full circle, like with Neil Lynn, like when I design and the customers buy my clothing or my swimsuits and when they love them and they make them feel confident and feel good and I get feedback, like, oh my God, I loved, you know, I bought this suit and I'm gonna come back and buy more because they fit so good, thank you so much. Or, hey, I tried that beauty product, I tried that skin cream that you said worked really good on like, dark spots and it changed my life thank you so much like i just feel like 
when you say what is my favorite part of my job, I feel like the um, the connection? the connection I have, yeah, with like my followers and fans and and everybody who you know takes time out of their day to come and look at what I'm doing. Yeah. I feel like the connection I have with them that's my favorite part. What um, is the most annoying part about being married to me? Hmm. <laughs> No, already. What? My wife, I don't know if you call it like a lack of being able to multitask. I think it's probably debatable. She has her phone in her hand and I'm speaking and she's not. I just know. <laughs> she's sending me off. She's not hearing. She's not listening. <laughs> She's not consuming any of the words that are coming out of my mouth. I know. Oh, yeah. 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 I get Far it. off look. I get it. Yeah. Uh, do you think I'm a good cook? You are a good cook. Really? Yes, you are. Hmm. Okay. If you had to choose, she's a theme part of person. So if you had to choose between mm. two theme parks mm -hmm. of a similar family, yeah. s similar brand, yep. family, mm -hmm. the Disney family, would yeah. you choose Disneyland or Disney World? Disney World, of mm -hmm. course. Wait, did you think I was gonna say Disneyland? I just didn't know. Well, I'll go to Disneyland so. because it's so close, but if I could go to Disney, you want to take me to Disney World, I'll go to Disney World. I haven't been back. I mean, I went to Disney World when I was 12. No, I was like nine maybe, I was young. And from what I remember, it was so, it was so good, it was so fun, and I wanna go back. Do you see, we live in Los Angeles, and here's a question for you. Do you foresee us raising a family here in LA, or would you like to raise a family somewhere else? Spidey senses. Um, or where do you see our us our having a family? Where do you see us having our future family? For the time being, um, I think it would be, it would fair, it would be fair to, to positive will be in LA. Okay. Yeah. Cool. What is your favorite show on TV right now? So my favorite show and I'm waiting for the next season is Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's Tale is my mm -hmm. absolute favorite show. It's so good. If you haven't seen it, you have to watch it. It's a little kind of gory, but do you want children? Yes. That's one. What is one activity that you want to one like beneficial, you know, for self activity that you feel could make you better, that you have mm. loads of discipline, endless discipline, what would that one activity oh. be? Oh. Do you have like one thing that you would wanna implement, add to your daily life and do it every single day? Um, what would that one activity be? I would say um, exercise because I feel like I work out when I have something coming up and when I feel like I'm falling off and I need that extra push, but I don't implement that in my life on a daily basis. And I think that I could be healthier, I could be a healthier human being if I worked out and exercised on a weekly basis mm. or daily basis, yeah. throughout the week and made it like a habit. And so that would be a part of my lifestyle. But right now, um, I just work out when I feel like I need to versus knowing that it will be beneficial to my life if I if it's a part of my lifestyle. So exercise. It's the last question. Last question. When we first met, mm -hmm. did you instantly think that she's gonna be my wife? You can be honest. I won't get mad at you. No, promise. but I'll give you background. Okay. What I did think though, was I thought <clears throat> that I would love to, like I started to envision what it would be like to be in a relationship with you. Mm. So that I did think about, but me at age 25, mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking about, oh, let me find my wife. He was a baby when we met. 25 And I was old. a grown woman. She lied about her age. I couldn't envision what it would be like to like be with somebody that could be in a relationship. Hmm. That's so sweet. That's really sweet.
Well, that concludes our <laughs> We enjoyed interview this together. hour that we spent with you guys. <laughs> can't wait till next time. Yes, can't wait for you guys to see our cover and bye-bye.